The Prince Rupert-based publisher, Muskeg Press, recently released a short story collection that features stories written during the first wave of the COVID-19 pandemic. The book is titled Influenced, Stories from the Lockdown, and it features 10 short stories written by authors from Canada, India, Ireland, and Scotland. Three of them were written by authors from Prince Rupert. Chris Armstrong is the owner of Muskeg Press. He said the idea for the book came to him when he was thinking about Giovanni Boccaccio's The Decameron, a collection of short stories written during the Black Death. And I thought, okay, well, there's a bunch of different short stories in this collection, and there's probably a bunch of people right now who are doing nothing in their apartment, and they've all, probably all got a story that they want to get off their chest, so I put out a call for submissions. And I received over 700. Although the stories were written during the pandemic, Armstrong wanted the authors to write about other topics. Uh, we didn't want any stories that had the subject matter of COVID. We basically wanted the, the book to be basically a distraction from uh, all the horrible news that we've been hearing over the last few months. According to John Farrell, who edited the collection, the pandemic was able to give the authors a lot more time to focus on their writing. There's some people who, some authors who literally got their way through the pandemic by setting um, 1,000 words a day or that they were trying to get 10 stories written within, you know, six months. One of those writers was Connor Ray Harris, who lives in Prince Rupert. His story, Inheritance, was selected for the book. You know, when you're done all your chores and any pressing things you have to do by noon and you've got another full eight to ten hours to do whatever you want, you kind of, yeah, mm -hmm. opened me up to have a lot more free time to do this kind of stuff. Muskeg Press was planning to throw a launch party for the book at Eddie's News in Prince Rupert, but it was cancelled due to provincial restrictions on indoor gatherings. Nonetheless, Armstrong said the feedback on the book has been positive and that it's a favorite on his bookshelf already. For CFTK-TV News, I'm Joshua Azizi.